Okay, so we're about in range here. Um, now, to show you basically how I use the autopilot, I kind of like to have it off for general flight because aircraft's a little bit more nimble when you don't have the autopilot settings on. Um, and I mainly use it to either stabilize in a level flight or to uh, maintain a hover when I'm about to attack. So what I'm going to do is get into kind of a weak hover, just try to get as close as I can to a hover here, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn on the autopilots. As you see, I just muscle the aircraft around, trying to get something resembling a hover started. And I'll go ahead and hit the autopilot settings. And next I'm going to hit the auto hover switch, which will, um, it's another aid that just the computer will try to keep your aircraft in a steady hover. And you can see I wasn't in a very good hover before, but right now um, I'm barely even moving over the ground. I mean, this is a pretty perfect hover. So I can now focus on targeting these lovely trucks up here. So, we're in a hover, we're ready to blow something up. Uh, how do we do that? Well, first we're going to drop our helmet mounted sight. Go ahead and activate auto turn for now. Um, you'll see I've got this yellow pepper here. I'm going to move this close to a target and I'll hold the uh, unlock button. So you'll see I've got this green circle when I'm holding this on, on uh, unlock button here. And I'll go ahead and get it over a target and release. Now you see I've got some terminology here. I've got 3.6 which is the range in kilometers but it's not accurate yet because I haven't hit target lock. And you'll see I've got the camera here that's turned on. And we can slew this around with the cursor keys. We can zoom in and out with the plus and minus keys. And uh, we can change the size of our targeting box to fit the target that we're shooting at. So go ahead and kind of get the size of the truck here. And then we're going to hit um, lock target. And you'll see the terminology change it here. Uh, we've got TA for target acquired. Uh, range in kilometers down here and uh, got the same terminology up here target acquired our range and then our circle around our target um, first I'm going to show you the Vickers missile uh, Vickers missile is a laser guided missile um, it's not as uh, nice as the Hellfire and the Hellfire is like a fire and forget you actually have to keep the uh, Vickers missile you have to keep the nose of your aircraft pointed at your target because um, the laser on my nose will guide this missile in. The advantage that this missile has though is that it's really fast. This thing flies at Mach like 1.8 so it does not take very long for this missile to um, get to its target. Um, so you can see our Vickers missiles are housed in these big mean looking black pods and once we have it selected on our outboard, we just select our outboard weapon. And you see we've got a, a, some new terminology here. We've got a C here, which actually means we're ready to fire. Um, here's our pepper. You can see that it's on target. If I move the pepper off target, the C will disappear. So once you have the C, you're cleared to fire. Um, let me go over the pepper before we let me actually move it off the target here so you can see the pepper. Um, you see we've got a big circle and a little circle um, and then these little lines here on the pepper. Uh, what the little lines are, it's, they give us our minimum and maximum range. So when the circle, when the big circle is smaller, it'll, uh, when we get further away from target, this big circle will uh, start moving uh, clockwise and get bigger. And when we get closer to target, it'll move anti-clockwise and it'll get smaller. When the circle is, when the big circle is um, shorter than this line, when it doesn't cross this line, that means we're too close to shoot. That's our minimum range. And then when it's um, longer 
and crosses this line, or if it's a full, if you have a full big circle, that means you're out of range, you're too far to shoot. So that's your maximum range, and that's your minimum range. So um, all we have to do is we put our pepper over our target. We've got the target acquired, and we just hold down the pepper button. And you can see the missile just whizzes off, and that truck will blow up. There we go. So let me go over that again, since I was rambling on quite a bit. Um, so I just hit the reset button here. My TV's off. Um, we'll go ahead and drop our helmet mounted sight with this key here. Um, zoom in on a target. Hit uncage Skaval. See our green dot appeared here. Um, let me click auto turn. Now we're going to slew our TV over our target and hit lock target. Got a bouncing circle, got TA, select our outboard weapon, fire. So it's a pretty simple weapon system to use, uh, mostly effective against tanks and anti-aircraft guns. So next I'm going to go over the rockets. So our rockets are on our inboard section. Um, right now I don't have a target selected so you can see our there's no information on our pipper. Um, rockets are pretty simple. They're just dummy fire rockets. Um, we'll use the same method. We just drop our helm out of sight, select the target. You can see we have two circles here. Um, the terminology is a little bit different for this one. Uh, this pepper doesn't move because these are obviously fixed rockets. Um, they're on the silver pods. If I zoom out here, you can see in the inboard wings we've got these rocket pods. They don't move. They're just dummy fire rockets. Um, terminology is a little bit different for the pepper. Our, we've got an outside line here, but we can actually shoot farther than this outside line. What this, uh, the significance of this is that beyond this uh, line, our rockets are no longer uh, propelling themselves. Uh, they actually, they're free falling. So these rockets aren't going to shoot three kilometers. I think we're a little too far away. Let's get a little closer because these rockets aren't going to shoot three kilometers. That's kind of pushing it. But um. But yeah, these are just simple dummy fire rockets. Um, you can see the pipper kind of moves on its own. Uh, all you have to do is get the pipper on target, and they're just a fixed weapon. Um, the pipper will will move depending on your speed and range to target, and so the computer will just automatically tell you where you need to aim your plane in order to uh, fire at the target. So we're well within range now. Hold down the pickle button. You can see the rockets fly off towards our truck. Uh, these are mostly good for strafing run attacks. It's not great for uh, long range sniping, but you can snipe with them. Let's see if we hit the truck. Yeah, probably way off target. Nope, we missed. Alright, so next we'll go over. Um, the cannon. Cannon's on a flexible mount. You can see when I select the cannon with the C button, um, one, our, our, we'll have a cover flip up on our joystick. <coughs> and uh, we've got some different HUD ter terminology here. Um, these lines here are inner and outer limits. Um, the cannon's on our right side, so we can't shoot very far left. Um, if I move the nose of the aircraft away from the target here, See, I got this big flashing green box of an X through it. Just means our cannon's out of its limits, so um, it won't fire. Um, let me disable this so we can go over the whole process here. So for the cannon, we'll select our cannon, drop our helmet mounted sight, center over a target, slew over a target, and hit target lock. Yeah, now you can see we've got um, target acquired here, and we've got a C. Um, 
our pepper. Uh, the terminology for this is this is our inner or minimum range, and here's our maximum range. Um, so you can see our circle here is uh, between the two lines, so we're ready to fire. And we have a big C here, which means we're um, cleared to fire. So all you have to do is just hold down the trigger, and the cannon will will move on your target and just uh, keep fixed on it. So right now I have the low rate of fire selected. We'll go through the process again. I'll show you a high rate of fire. So we'll go ahead and cover up our target. Drop our helmet mounted sight. Move over the target here. You don't have to get really um, act like uh, you don't really have to resize the box or anything with the cannon. It's not a big deal since uh, it's pretty inaccurate anyways. Um, so go ahead and select the high rate of fire. Um, see we've got the green circle here. I can actually move a little bit further than this green line and still shoot the cannon. Oops. I move a little bit further than it. There we go. And now that I'm in move mode, the uh, I can be pretty lazy and silly with this aircraft, and the cannon will still pretty much stay on target. It's kind of nice. So that's really all there is to it. Um, if there's anything you take away from the tutorial, uh, just know how you target things. Uh, we drop our helmet mounted sight, zoom in on a target, get uncaged cabal, and we'll get our green circle, we'll move towards our target. We slew our camera over the target, resize our box a little bit, hit target acquired. Then we got a target acquired. C means we're cleared to fire. And you shoot whatever weapon you want to. All right, I'm just going to end the tutorial with some random mission footage here. Hope you found it useful. Uh, KA-50 isn't too complicated um, of an aircraft. It's a lot of fun, um, and hopefully this tutorial is enough to at least get you in the air and get you blowing stuff up, because that's the fun part of the game. So um, good luck, and I'll see you in the skies.